Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Elle. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for sharing part of your day with me. Okay, so today is going to be a little bit of a long one. Not that my videos are ever really that short, but I would love for you to pull up a cup of tea, glass of water, glass of wine, and let's get talking about the ordinary. When I asked you guys for an idea, I said, did you guys really wanna see a review? Are we over it? Are there too many reviews? A lot of you guys said, yes, please do it. We'd love to hear your take on it. Okay, so this is going to either be in two parts, maybe three, even maybe four, okay? There's just so much to talk about that it can get overwhelming and I don't wanna overwhelm you guys. All right, let's start with all of their little goodies that come in these bottles. I have ordered the new primers and I've also ordered the new foundations. So those will all be separate videos so that it can just be a cohesive stream of information if you wanna watch them all together. All right, I have notes in my handy dandy uh, note taking thing, whatever it's called. All right, so let's get into this. So what I'm gonna give you is I'm gonna give you a little bit of a rundown on what each product is, the skin type I feel that it would be great for and how to use it in your routine. Now this is gonna be more simplified because one of the biggest feedbacks that I had been hearing from you guys is I've ordered all of these things and I have no idea what to do with them. That is very common with this line because they are so fairly priced that a bunch of people just throw a ton of stuff in their cart, they get it, they get it home, and they think to themselves, oh lord, what did I do? I have no idea how to use any of these. Or are these even good? So let's start with the basics. This brand is known to basically be no frills, no, you know, luxurious packaging, anything like that. They put everything into the actual product. They also formulate with high concentrations of either one or two ingredients, which obviously keeps the price down. Um, but you also should know that while you're combining these, you gotta have to really do some research on what each individual ingredient is so you know if it's right for your skin. Now, everything I'm saying is how it affected my skin, so your results might differ. So again, do your own research, do a little trial and error, do your spot testing, things like that, or patch testing to make sure you have no sensitivities, but here's just my take on the products and skin types and routines that these would be good for. All right, all right, what are we gonna start with? Okay, so this brand obviously is called The Ordinary. They are free of animal testing, parabens, sulfates, mineral oil, and animal oils, which I absolutely love. I love to see a product getting this much play that is a little, is cleaner like this, so yay for that. Also, as we age, obviously of more mature skin, like myself and above, it takes a good 12 weeks to see if these products are working. So I have had these products for close to three months now, I would say, and some of them actually a little bit more and some of them a little bit less. So I feel like I can give you a pretty good gauge on what is happening in this world. All right, so what are we gonna start with? We are starting with, how to layer these. So if you don't, if you need a little bit more of a extreme how to layer serums, I will link that video below and you can watch that. But just general terms is anything liquid, liquidy first, anything that's a little bit more oil-based or cream-based goes after your liquids. And then of course that includes oils and then obviously your moisturizer goes on top. That is the general rule of thumb, all right? So let's start with the hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5. Now you know that I did a whole uh, skincare Sunday on uh, hyaluronic acid and why that's important. Again, I will link that below if you need to see that. Um, you will also know though that I absolutely love this hyaluronic acid. It has two types, whatever, no, it has three types of molecular weight of hyaluronic acid or types of hyaluronic acid in it, which means that some sit on top of the skin, some go deeper into the skin, so it gives a full plumping effect and hydration effect from multiple layers on the skin, so it doesn't just sit on top of the skin, all right? So that's another thing to really know about this. 
Also, this hyaluronic acid and most hyaluronic acids, you can actually mix them in with an oil or a moisturizer to cut down on time and just to cut down on overall kind of when to knowing, oh, my watch is talking to me, just overall knowing of how to use them. So it doesn't really, honestly, it doesn't really matter if the hyaluronic comes first or the, um, uh, or the, um, or the alpha arbutrin 2% or, you know, things like that, or the buffet or whatever it is. It just depends upon the consistency of them. So again, I will tell you how to use these. Um, what else? Oh, so this product actually, something that I wanted to touch on that I did not touch on in my hyaluronic acid video is, if you live in a desert climate, something that is very, 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 very dry, hyaluronic acid will actually take moisture because there is none in the atmosphere out of your skin and actually cause more dehydration. So just be very careful that if you are living in that climate that you probably steer away from a product that has only hyaluronic acid in it. One that has it combined in any other portions of their ingredients is okay, but try to stay away from a sole hyaluronic acid serum. But everybody else will really benefit from it. Hyaluronic acid is great for all around anti-aging, plumping the skin, hydrating the skin, that's what we use hyaluronic for all right it is also amazing for oily skin dry skin more mature skin and obviously anti-aging hyaluronic acid can actually help regulate oil production in oily or skin types so that's good to know let's talk about uh, mexotrixol uh, 10 percent plus hyaluronic acid so you'll see that a lot of their products are based or have an, uh, mixed in hyaluronic acid. So you don't necessarily need to have a hyaluronic acid serum incorporated, but I just do. I think it plumps my skin. I think it works beautifully for my skin, so I like to add it in where I can. All right, so there are three types of mexotrixel in this uh, serum, and all three different types add up to the 10%. Now, these three types work very, very, very well together, and they've been proven to work well together for anti-aging, anti-wrinkle, lifting, plumping, and fine lines and wrinkles. So it's basically an overall anti-aging uh, powerhouse. It also actually fills in the wrinkles from within the skin naturally, so over time. I actually love to use this serum underneath my eyes where I feel like I get really, really dry. And also, too, I feel like that is where my fine lines and wrinkles are really starting to come in with a quickness. And I actually use it on my forehead, and I use that at night. So a little bit as an eye serum, and then your eye cream can go right over it. And voila, kind of a complete system. Uh, and one thing to really note that all of the products I'm talking about today do not replace a moisturizer. So you still need a moisturizer for most people on top of these because they don't include the emollients and the humectants and kind of the occlusive qualities that a moisturizer has in it. So just a side note there for you. All right, so let's talk about the buffet. All right, the buffet is like a hodgepodge of a bunch of different amino acids, peptides, and probiotics for the skin. It is a powerhouse of anti-aging ingredients. It also strengthens the skin, and it's one of these serums that if you're in your 20s and just want to do a little bit more preventative, this is a preventative serum because it's a, just a gangbuster of a lot of ingredients that is just kind of a quick, you know, put it on your face, put your moisturizer on, and you're out the door, and you can feel like you're really doing a preventative measure for the skin. A lot of people love this that are busy people that just know they want great skincare that's going to do something, but they don't want to have 50 million steps. Now, me, I like to know what's going in. I like to change it every night or a couple nights so I get different benefits. So whatever your life looks like, they did basically have a serum for you. All right, now we're moving on to the Alpha Albutrin 2% Hyaluronic Acid. Where are you? They all look the same, literally. Alpha Albutrin 2% plus Hyaluronic Acid. All right, this is one of those ingredients that is going to brighten and whiten the skin. We'll use quotation marks. It is definitely for all around pigmentation help. It is definitely for brightening the skin, evening out skin tone. 
It also helps reduce redness from sensitivity, so that's something great to look into as well. It also helps with uneven complexion, and it basically is an alternative to hydroquinone. It's a little bit safer. I'm not a big fan, as you know, of hydroquinone. I think this is a much safer ingredient, and it, I find it to be extremely effective. I feel that it's really started to dim, uh, diminish pigmentation and overall melanin production where I have been using it. This product is also a melanin inhibitor, so it will also keep the melanin at bay and have it perform at a normal rate instead of kind of firing in that one place where you're getting pigmentation more aggressively than other parts of your face. And also will help uh, keep the pigmentation at bay as well. How I use this is I actually use this every single day at night, but as more of a spot treatment. I have been known to slather it all right here because, again, this is where most of my pigmentation is. But you do want to use this in more of a spot treatment fashion. Um, it's also great for post-acne marks, so any kind of pigmentation. Again, so I just didn't want to leave it with just, you know, age pigmentation or, um, you know, uh, uh, pregnancy pigmentation that's been left over or acne pigmentation. It basically helps all over all types of pigmentation in the skin. And lastly, our last couple products is the Advanced Retinol 2%. So you have heard me talk about this. I will link the video below where I talk about retinoids. I absolutely um, adore this product. I think it's fantastic. It has all of the benefits of your traditional retinoids, but without the skin sensitivity and without kind of any of that peeling and skin discomfort and skin sensitivity. And they do have a 1%, uh, but in my opinion, it's not worth it. This 2% has more advanced technology in it and a little bit more worth your money. All right, so let's talk about the vitamin C suspension. Honestly, I've been looking for it for the past half an hour, and that will tell you that I never use it. I know, I'm really bummed out about it, but it is really high. I think it's 20% or 23% vitamin C, and it is a little aggressive, but what I can't get over is the way of the graininess of the actual product. I have tried to layer it under products for makeup. I have tri I've tried all sorts of things because really vitamin C should be used during the day because it helps uh, the boost the power of your SPF. It's just, it's just a better you know, way of doing it is by using it in the morning, and I just can't get over it. I, I just, for me, it's not one that I'll repurchase. Unfortunately, it's just not even one that I will use, so it's going bad in some drawer somewhere. So that's one of the things I do feel after I've been using it over time now that it's just not worth the investment, unfortunately. I just can't get over the texture. It pills. It doesn't lay under anything. I, I just, I'm bummed out about it, but the one that I have been using right now is the Ole Hendrickson uh, Vitamin C Serum, which I have been loving, and then also obviously, you know, my Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum. But you guys have always commented under my Vitamin C videos uh, some other great recommendations, so take a look at that for any other recommendations. Now, the Rosehip Oil Seed, where are you? Oh my god, I swear we only have a couple more products. Bear with me. Hang in there, you guys. The 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. I'm in love with this. I will repurchase this over and over and over again, even though it has a weird funky smell to me. I will still repurchase this because I absolutely love it. Uh, if you guys don't know what cold press is, I'm sure we all know by now. Basically, it's a way of extracting the oil, and it does not break down the in essential ingredients, the skin-loving ingredients. It keeps them intact and keeps them of the utmost integrity. That's the process, and it's organic. I mean, what do you not love? You should know that rose uh, rosehip oil seed, rosehip seed oil, is a vitamin A. It's a natural version of vitamin A. So. We're still on the retinoid family, but a natural version of it. It is a drier oil, so it's thin, so it absorbs into the skin so quickly. And it actually, my oily girls out there, it will balance out your oiliness. So it will help your skin to stop producing so much oil. So my oily girls, don't shy away from oils. This and marula oil is another one that you guys should definitely be checking out. The Ordinaries of Marula Oil is very similar to the Drunk Elephant. It's just not as refined. All right? All right, lastly, I did want to throw this in here. 
the one thing is that I just, I wanted to throw this in here because I've had a couple of people ask that caffeine solution 5% plus EGCG. I've done some research. I do not have it, but I actually just purchased it, waiting for it to come in the mail, it, for my mother. Uh, it is supposed to help the hollows of our skin, fat deposits, things like that, but it can only work so well. But caffeine has been known to really help people that have that from either, um, uh, things like medicine, water retention, uh, some sort of uh, accumulated fat, things of that nature. Now, if your dark circles and fat deposits, are, uh, you know, little pockets and things like that are hereditary, unfortunately, there is not anything topical that I've ever found that you can use on it. But again, you guys are a wealth of knowledge, so please feel free to share. All right, last product, because I haven't heard anybody talk about this one. Maybe I'm just crazy and I haven't seen. But I haven't heard anybody talking about the AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution, 10 minute exfoliating facial. I was reading in the comments uh, on my videos a while ago and somebody talked about that they've had tremendous success, a beautiful story actually, about how Buffet has changed their skin and how they haven't found anything that will work for their skin and she's just been over the moon happy with it. She also got this product, blah, blah, blah. She went into this whole detail and inspired me to get it. Um, AHAs, as we know, are going to work above the skin. It helps remove the glue that holds dense skin cells, so it helps with brightening, anti-aging, uh, helps with the texture of our skin. It's basically what's in those Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads that I absolutely love, but it also has a BHA 2%, which works below the skin, so any hormonal acne or um, anything of that nature, clogged pores, congested skin, this is going to help as well. So this is a pretty aggressive peel. I feel a little stinging and I put acids on my face all the time. So you know that this is, this is not for those that are like, oh, I just want to peel. This is definitely for somebody that is more advanced, that does peels more often. It basically is a red solution. It is a red solution and you put a thin layer all over the face. You wait no more than 10 minutes and you wash it off. You do this once a week. I think no more than once a week and you're in great shape. It has kept all the texture off of this part of my face where I have KP and other things going on. I am obsessed with this. I love this more than a lot of my other uh, acid peels. So this is definitely staying with me. All right, so to finish that kind of thought off, the ones that I would buy again and that are never leaving my medicine cabinet is the peel, is the 2% retinoid, is the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil, and the, uh, where's my alpha, there it is, alpha albutrin 2%. So these guys, are never leaving my medicine cabinet. I have been so happy with these and I absolutely love them and can't wait to buy more. The other ones, I don't know. I was really into the hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary, but now I tried the Paula's Choice one and I'm kind of obsessed with that one. But I do think that this one's a good, good dupe for the Paula's Choice one, okay? Lastly, you made it through this far. I'm excited. Thanks for being here. Um, let's talk about how to use these products. Generally, please do your research, look at the ingredients, yada, yada. General anti-aging routine night would look something like double cleanse, toner or essence. Now you can layer, they say three products. That means some sort of serum, acid, oil, moisturizer. Okay, you don't have to use three, but you can use up to three. So at night, what I do is I will go back and forth. After my essence, I will do the, some nights I will do the, um, I will start by doing a spot treatment of the Alpha Albutrin 2% where I have my pigmentation because I really want that to be close to the skin. And then I will go in with either Buffet or I will go in with my Mexitrixel, okay? And then I will put my rosehip oil seed on top. 
So that is how I, if I was doing an anti-aging routine with Ordinary, that's what I would do. Now for my oilier girls, acne prone girls, so usually people with larger pores, obviously acne, excessive oil, the main ingredients I would interject into your routine from the Ordinary is the Alpha, alpha Albutrin 2% and the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc because those will take care of your large pores. It will help with your uh, post acne marks. It will also help with uneven skin tone. It's, it's you know, uh, inflammatories, all of those things. That is what I would add to your routine out of the ingredient, the products we've talked about. Now, if you're looking just purely on prevention and you don't really have those skin concerns that you just, you know, early 20s, 20s, I would actually go with the buffet and call it a day until you kind of reach into your late 20s and start really thinking about a little bit more ingredients to include. Now for my sensitive people, this is going to be something that you're going to have to play with because I have no way of knowing if these products are going to increase sensitivity except for I know that hyaluronic acid for most people is great for sensitive skin as well as the buffet is going to be a great product for you because it is a overall anti-aging ingredient. I would really try to steer away from any of the more aggressive acids. Um, and then I also would, I also might actually include the, nio, uh, the niacinamide in there because it is an anti-inflammatory. So, and the alpha albutrin. So, because it is an anti-redness. So for my sensitive girls, there's a couple things that you can do. Again, the buffet, the alpha albutrin, the niacinamide, and probably hyaluronic. I think those would be your best bet. So I hope that this has helped you guys kind of navigate the ordinary. I know it can be overwhelming, but thank you guys so much for hanging with me. Keep those subscriptions coming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, you guys.